Niggas been counting me out. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading Yo, my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm song? making a list. I'm checking it twice and I'm getting this them hit. Boy, the real ones been yeah. dying. The fake ones is lit. The game is off balance. Yeah, I'm back on my shit. The bitly is dirty. This my sneakers is dirty. But that's how I like it. You all on my dick. I'm all in my bag. It's hard as it get. I do not throw powder. I might take a sip. I might hit the blunt, but I'm liable to trip. I ain't popping no pill, but you do as you wish. I roll with some things. I love them to death. I got a few mil, but not all of them. Oh, the big guns of bread. If my niggas is dope, we'll get it. 10,000 subs on the way. Without no further ado, subscribe and hit the bell. Because if you don't hit the bell, bro, like, there's literally no point of subscribing to my channel if you don't hit the bell. Because, like, what if I upload a video the next day before I make this video and you don't get the notification? You know, but look, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get to the story time. Bro, you know? But look, let's here it goes. When I first got arrested, and it was almost, oh, almost got arrested, I'm sorry. I first almost got arrested. It wasn't just me in the video. Or not in the video, but like, it wasn't just me. It was my friend too. He was in on it too, bro. But look, you know that you know that store Big Lots? Yes, Big Lots. If you ever been to Big Lots, bro, that's crazy because a lot of people have been to Big Lots before. But look, Big Lots. The store not far away from me. But look. Me, I was just walking to my friend's house this one day. You know, like, I got across the whole intersection and all that. I was walking to my friend's house that one day. Um, I made, So I finally made it to his house. I knocked on his door, bro. He was a little sleep. He was slump. You already know. He was tired. He got to get up from that midday work because, like, we just came from school, you know. We, we just came from school, right? Yeah. So, look. He put, he, he put on his clothes. Like, he had to go and change and all that before he had to come out and just hang out with me. Because we just trying to hang out on a regular day, on a daily basis. But look, we came out. We started walking across the um, river, you know, because I live by a, a long river. But, like, we started walking across the river and all that. You know, like, so we decided to go to the store. To go check a few things out, you know, like any teenager would do. So we just went in the store. It was big lots, right? We went through them doors, bro. I had a book bag on, and he was carrying a book bag as well. So we just walked up in there. We kept our hoods on. Oh, I, well, I'll say this. My friend kept his hood on. I kept mine off because, you know, we didn't want to look suspicious and all that. All the store clerks looking at us and all that, you know. But look, we didn't want to look suspicious. So one kept his hood on, one kept them all, bro. I walked up in there. I was like, "Have a hey, good day. Dude. Are you having a good day? Or like, how was your day? He was like, yeah, mine's is great. So after that, we just walked in the back aisle, I think. Yeah, the back aisle. Where all the speakers and electronics were and all that. And then look, we was looking at, I was looking at that one speaker I really wanted. I really wanted it to, and so is my um friend. He also wanted that speaker. It was like a few of them in there. But look, we both had the book bags, right? But this time, he put it in my book bag. My book bag. That's my book bag. So look, we was looking around the aisles, making sure nobody was coming so we don't get caught. You know, like we didn't want to get in no trouble and all that. So he kept the lookout. Oh, no, 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 no. We both kept the lookout. We looked around a little bit. We saw that nobody was there. I quickly turned around like this. Like so. He put the speaker in my book bag. And then he zipped it up. And then he told me to go in the bathroom. Well, I'm going to get to the part below. We're, we're not stupid. We're not stupid if we're stealing something. We're not dumb. So, like, you know how to, you know how the little barcode is on the box? So, like, when you walk out them doors, they scan it and an alarm comes off. We were smart. We were real smart when we were doing this. I, I went into the restroom real quick to unbox it. Then I put the speakers in, in the headphones, you know, that we wanted, the little headphones. And then, look, we just, we just went by the store clerk. They was looking at us a little suspicious and all that. I don't know if the camera caught us that day. But we just walked out like nothing happened. And we was like, hey, we did it. We did it. We did it. We just got away with a successful robbery, bro. Out of Big Lots. A successful robbery, bro. I was happy and all that, you know. But look, then. We went 
to school, bro. We had our stuff, bro. I had my earbuds in. I had my speaker, bro, bumping and all that. I was happy, bro. I was happy, bro. I had me a free speaker, bro, out that big lot store. So since we just took it, you know, we took them speakers, we were thinking we could come to that store like every day and take something and get away with it. And guess what? We did. So the next morning, bro, after school and all that, you know, I went to my friend's house like so. Or that matter of fact, this time we met up somewhere. We met up by the Dairy Queen by the Big Lots. There was a Dairy Queen by the Big Lots, you know. But look, we met up again for, on the second day. And look, we walked up it back in that bed. You know Big Lots. We walked up back in Big Lots. Nothing happened. This time I had my hood on. My hood on. And then, this time he had his hood off, because he didn't want to look suspicious. We walked up in there, brothers. We, um, I was asking the store clerk, how was your day? He was like, mine's good. Thank you. Thank you for asking and stuff like that. I'm trying to remember. But look, we walked back into the aisle, the same aisle where we took them two speakers and headphones last time. For, or yesterday. Um, um, I had my book bag this time. I don't think he had his book bag. Yeah, he didn't have his book bag. Oh, no, 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 I think I got it reversed, though. No, 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 he had his book back. I didn't have mine this time. So, look, look, this time, I put the speakers in his book bag. Then he walked in there, or matter of fact, he gave me his book bag. I unwrapped them, because, you know, I was a good unwrapper. Make sure no tags was on it, no barcodes. So, like, when they scan it, we walk out, um, the emergency alarm comes off, you know. Yeah, we don't want none of that happening. So, like, we want to get away with another successful robbery of day two. Now, day two, like, day two, it was good of a day two, bro. So, look, we walked up back out that pit. We didn't get caught again. I was happy. And, look, so on, um, you would, well, so on, my friend was happy as well. But, look, we walked out. I went home. Or, matter of fact, we went to Liberty Park. We went to like a little park after we took those two speakers. We went to the park to go hang out, you know. Blast some of that music that we got from those two speakers, bro. We just come in that store every day, basically, just to take speakers and headphones. Like, you know. But look, we came out there happy again because we got two speakers this time. Two speakers. But look, that next, this time we had three headphones, too. We, we took three headphones from that store. Like, that. That's crazy. I'm not sure if the emergency camera caught us on day two. But look, after that, we got dark. I went home to go relax, you know, just go watch some TV, play my little video game, like nothing happened, like we didn't get in trouble or nothing that, then I went to sleep, went to school that day, and then I told my friend, hey, we did it, and I told my other friends that we took two speakers from Big Lots, and got away with it, and then look, day three, I woke up, went to school again. I went to go to my friend's house, you know, like I always do after I come from school. We went to go hang out again. And this time, this time, we were going to take seven things out of that store. Seven things out of that store. You know how that's going to go? You know how that's going to go? We just went up in that store again. Same routine. Hi, how was your day? Hey, my day was good, you know. We walked up in there again, went to the back aisle, but this time, I think I, I, I wanted two speakers, and I think he wanted two speakers as well, so I get one, he gets one, I get another one, he gets another one, so that's like four all together, and then look, I wanted two earbuds for myself, he wanted only one, so yeah, he wanted one earbud, I had to go in that store, bro. I wanted to go back in the restroom, unwrap all that before we just walked out. Like, Cause we ain't just gonna walk out like idiots, bro, and get caught. Only cause them sensors can detect those barcodes on the boxes when you unwrap the speakers and all that. We wanted more stuff out of that store. Now look, we didn't want to take nothing else, like no, we didn't want to take anything else besides like speakers and all that because like those are all in the front aisles and we didn't really want to get caught by no adults, you know, you know, like we didn't want to, no, but we didn't want to go to jail. I told my friend, bro, I'm not going to jail, bro. That's how it was on the first time. I'm not going to jail. And then my friend told me back, I don't want to go to jail either, bro. But I do want these speakers, bro, and the, and the headphones. So, look, look. After I unwrapped them, 
he te- he went home without letting me know. My friend went home he without letting me know. But he did leave me a text message. He said, I'm going home, bro. I'll, well, he, he said, I'm going home, bro. I'm not, my stomach's hurting. I'm not feeling good, bro. So he went home. When I got done unwrapping them hoes, I went out. I saw a store clerk running, um, walking around. I was, I was scared, bro. I almost had a heart attack, bro. I almost had a heart attack. So right before I was finna walk out them two hours, bro, the store clerk came to me. He came to me. And he said, hey, bro, I don't know what's going on, but this is what store clerk was saying. He said, I don't know what's going on, bro, but I see unwrapped speaker boxes in the bathroom and stuff. And, like, I, I feel like it's you. I don't know. But uh, he said he doesn't know if it's me or not. But, look, he said he could check the cameras. He could check the cameras. So they didn't know it was me or not, but look, he said there's a lot of unwrapped stuff, and, I, and he said he's gonna call the cops. He's gonna call the cops. I got scared. I got scared. I didn't want to go to jail, bro. I did not want to go to jail. I really didn't want to go to jail. So like, I got scared. So he said, "Look, do you mind if I check your bag?" You know what I said? I said, "No, thank you." Because I still had those things in my bag. And I did not want to go to jail. And then, you know what I did? I just walked away as fast as I can, bro. And, and you know what? That's the last time I'm coming to that store, bro. That's the last time I'm coming back. But look, the day after that, though, we didn't numb happen. I didn't go to jail. But I almost got arrested, though. That, w- that could have been the end of me, bro. The end of me. I gave, look, like I said, that would have been the end of me, though. So I gave my friends earbuds and speakers to him at school, bro. He used them and like, yeah, it was a regular day. And I told him, I almost got arrested. This dude came up to me and he said he's going to check the cameras. Or he's going to search my bag, see if I got stuff in there. I said, no, thank you. So look, I just ran away, bro. And I told him, just don't go to that store again. I told my friend, don't go to that store. This is it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it, guys. Make sure to go subscribe and hit the bell on this channel. Because like, after... Dang, bro, shut up. Okay, 